Got your Red, red Cross passes all right, old boys, over there? You're glad it hasn't? Yeah, very pretty. Yeah. Very useful to you. Oh, well, you're home again now. warm welcome. Through all of your trials and sufferings, you have been constantly in our thoughts, and we rejoice to think that you are now safely home, even though the actual homes of some of you are in distant parts of the Empire, you may be sure that while you are in these islands, you will never lack friends. We hope with all our hearts that your release from captivity may bring you restored health and a full measure of happiness. Now, on behalf of the services, we want to say that we're frightfully glad to get you chaps home. It's been a very long time for your relatives in this country, and I know it's been a very long time for you. But what we do want to say is how proud we've been of the way you've borne yourselves during your period of captivity. We've heard of it all, and we're very, very proud. Uh, there's one thing we're very sorry we haven't been able to bring your relatives here. It's been quite impossible. We've had ships coming into Leith and here. We didn't know quite who was on board each. There have been delays, and accommodation is very difficult. And that is... If you do have to stay, we'll send you to a hospital as near your home as we possibly can manage. Uh, you will find here on the quay, Mrs. Bromley Davenport, behind me. She's
Well, it's quite clear I need to say anything more, because uh, we know what the Red Cross have done for you, and you know it far better. Most of you have been away a long time, and you'll find England a bit different from when you left it. You'll soon settle down. We're all being rationed, and the blackout's still going on, and we haven't yet finished the war. We're going to, and fairly soon, I hope. That's all I've got to say. We're very, very glad to welcome you. And from, that's from everyone at home here, in all the services, every rank, good luck to you all. Now, I'm just going to ask the Lord Mayor of Liverpool, who's behind me, to say a few words. As Lord Mayor of Liverpool, may I, on behalf of the, the citizens of Liverpool, and may I say, Mayor of Birkenhead, on behalf of the residents in Merseyside, we give you a hearty welcome here today uh, to the homeland, the land of the free, the, the land, the land which you, uh, by your valour and fortitude, have made still free. We rejoice over the lump in our throats this morning uh, to find you back here. <laughs>